My name is Professor Garfield and I'm with the Department of Electrical Computer Software and Systems Engineering, the XE department, and I'll be entering my fifth year here at Embry-Riddle this fall. My primary expertise is in modeling and simulation techniques and also in the field of artificial intelligence, particularly artificially intelligent agents that interact with humans. I've been working in uh, modeling and simulation and also artificial intelligence agents for about 11 years now. I started with University of Central Florida Institute for Simulation and Training and now I'm continuing my work here at Embry-Riddle. Uh, most of my work of course is aviation focused now that I'm here at Embry-Riddle. I'm in three main areas of work right now. I'm working with the next generation airspace projects of which we have quite a few on campus. I'm also uh, working with artificial intelligent agents that interact with humans and I'm primarily focused on how to implement those in an educational setting these days. And then I'm beginning some work also using fuzzy cognitive maps which are a technique used to uh, model and simulate complex systems and interaction between systems. My work with artificial intelligent agents um, stems from work that I started about 10 years ago with the Army Department of Defense work. And basically, uh, there's two terms in there that we need to worry about. One is agents, and an agent is any decision-making piece of software. It can be very, very simple or it can be very, very complex. And artificial intelligence is any software that attempts to mimic what we'll call reasonable behavior. It's, it's actually often very loosely defined. And again, that can be very simple or it can be very complex. So when we talk about artificially intelligent agents, what we're trying to do is have uh, software, standalone decision makers, that are making decisions that humans would call reasonable. And specifically, since I'm trying to have agents that interact with humans, what I'm trying to have is uh, artificial intelligent agents that interact with you in a way that you would think is reasonable if you were interacting with another human. So there's lots of examples of this on the web uh, with things like uh, artificially intelligent chatterbots and agents that try to interact with a natural human language and a natural language technique. What I'm trying to do is deploy them in an educational setting. So for example, there are a lot of tutorial websites out there, but they tend to be very static. They tend to be, here's a question, what's your answer, without any uh, uh, interaction other than that. And certainly, everything's in a very linear fashion. If you think about how we tend to commun communicate with other people, it's not linear at all. We jump from topic to topic to topic as the conversation flows. And I'm trying to develop conversational agents that can also be tutorial agents that would allow students to explore things in a nonlinear fashion, basically as if they went in to ask their uh, professor or another student about how to do a problem. The next generation airspace project is a very, very large project. It's funded through the FAA and also through other governmental components, NASA, DOD, that kind of thing. There are many, many aspects to it. Uh, one of the aspects that we're interested in here is if you bring all this new technology into the airspace, uh, what's the best way to use it? How can you actually make technology enter the cockpit or technology enter the air traffic control stations where the technology is actually helping the pilots and helping the air traffic controllers and not confusing them or being a bother, that kind of thing. The beautiful thing about robots is you don't have to have the brain and the body in the same place. You can have all the brains in a, a, a computer on the ground and the robot can be in the air and you have the brain and body communicating through radio traffic. 